YouTube was popping. Here are my custom keybinds for mouse and keyboard for Warzone. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start with mouse sensitivity here. As you can see, I'm on 8 cents. Um, this works for me. Uh, I'm also on 800 DPI, by the way. Um, you know, however, I was on 5 in game sense, and I've been doing a lot of aim training, so that's really helped me uh, raise my sensitivity as well as be more accurate. So I, rec I recommend for mouse and keyboard players that you guys start using aim training, you know, Kovacs, aim labs, whatever. Anyways, you know, this is all default. I haven't touched any of this. Um, and then ADS mouse sensitivity mode, you want relative and instant and then 1.33. I'm pretty sure that's just default as well. Um, you know, then, then we'll move to the custom sensitivity per zoom. Um, me, once again, this is going to be personal preference. I was at 0.50. Um, you know, but like I said, I've been doing some aim training, so I have been able to raise my sense and, and not lose accuracy. Well, you know, I've raised mine up to 0.90, which I have kind of fluctuated with like 0.95 and 0.90. And I noticed like a huge difference between 0.90 and 0.95. Um, you know, 90 works so much better for me. I, I've been a lot more accurate. So, you know, like I said, this is going to be personal preference. At the end of the day, I, I do recommend some something a little lower um, to start out with, um, you know, but test it in game and see see how it works for you. And then all this stuff, uh, you know, whatever you don't you don't really need this. Disable it, whatever. Copy this. This this is whatever. Here we'll move on to movement. This works for me. Uh, slide behavior tap, crouch toggle, prone toggle, uh, airborne mantle disabled, sprint toggle. Automatic sprint. Uh, I use auto tack sprint. This is going to allow you to wear right when you click forward, you're going to be sprinting. Um, so I definitely recommend auto tack sprint. This is probably the most key thing on your movement here. Um, walk behavior. I don't really use this. You know, you doesn't really, you know, make a difference in game. Um, all this other stuff is irrelevant. Movement. Uh, yeah, this is this is pretty much all default. Use key. Uh, you know, again, this is probably going to be personal preference. I um, I use F. This works easy for me. It's a close bind. Um, so F works for me for use and interact. Um, jump, mantle, space, crouch, slide, C, prone, left control. Again, this is this all works really good for me. Uh, sprint, tack sprint, uh, shift. Moving on to the weapons and equipment, uh, I recommend just copying this. Uh, this is the most key thing here, the uh, switch weapon minimum delay. You guys definitely want to keep something around like the 50 range or whatever, or even keep a default. If you guys go lower here, it's going to be super sensitive on your, your weapon swapping. So if like right when you click a button, it's going to switch. I use my scroll wheel to switch weapons. So if I'm like using my scroll wheel to go up and down, it's, it's super sensitive. Like it's almost, it's almost too hard to swap weapons in certain situations. So, you know, you definitely want to keep a little bit of a delay. Um, everything else here. I mean, if you guys want to copy this, it's, this is pretty much, uh, you know, the default, obviously fire weapon, left click, uh, aim down sight, right click, um, reload is R, uh, here, once again, I use my scroll wheel to switch weapons. So as I'm playing the game, you know, I use my scroll wheel. I'm just clicking it up and down. Um, I do use one when I'm plating. So to cancel my plate. So when I'm plating and, you know, I get in a situation where I need to cancel my plate, I don't use the scroll wheel. I click one, which cancels my plate and allows me to get back into the engagement faster. So, you know, I... This is this could be personal preference, but this works really well for me. Then moving on to uh, weapon mount, I go with G, alternate fire B, um, melee. I I have messed around with different keybinds for this, and and I feel like the best that has worked for me is caps lock, lethal equipment. Um, this this is really key for me, guys. This is something that it. The default bind is on the keyboard on the keyboard. However, I have switched this to my mouse using the lethal on the tactical and I don't have any issues with it affecting my aim. Um, you know, and it, it, it's felt really natural to me. I, I've switched this right off the start of me 
getting on mouse and keyboard playing Call of Duty. So I highly recommend putting the, your lethal and your tactical on your mouse. Uh, like I said, it's not going to mess with any of your aiming or anything. So that's 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 really been useful for me. Field upgrade X. Then mission ability for weapon inspect. I it, it honestly could be whatever you guys want. Zoom in and out. Uh, you know, do, it doesn't really matter here.